Mitch, what do you think about Stellum? What is it? What is it made of? Stellum? What's in there? It drinks as good upside down as it does right side. Uh, Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Ring toss. Oh, so Harry close. Potter? Oh! <laughs> Did you see that? It was a rim job around that thing. Give me a couple more. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah. On, <laughs> no. Welcome back to another Bourbon Ears. We are reviewing Stellum Rye. And we are excited for this because this guy's the only one who's had it. He's been talking and it up for said about it's two amazing. months. I can't stop talking about this rye. Yes. We've had the Stellum regular bourbon. I've talked it up so much. You yeah. have. Yeah. Hopefully it lives up to the hype. Yeah, we well. love the bourbon. Yes, um, one of my favorites right now. And if nice it's not good, favorite. I probably talked it up too much, honestly, at this point. You guys I are doubt it. Like underwhelmed. I doubt it. We'll see. I the yes. We fell in love with Stellum bourbon because Mitch... One night at his house goes, oh my gosh, there's a cigar finish on this, and we fell in love since. Yeah. Previous video, we just did Pikesville straight rye whiskey. Which so we liked perfect a lot. time because yes. I think that this hangs or maybe better. Maybe better? We'll find out now. You'll um, hear. Yeah. But Stay tuned. So let's take a look at what it is. Uh, it's a cast strength blend of straight rye whiskeys, 58.12% uh, alcohol, 116 proof. Nice. So it's I barrel proof, proof rye, Very high proof. High. Um, do we know what it's age? We don't know its age. I'm. I'm sure it's. We like could look it up. Four or five, probably at least. Looking up right now. Uh, yeah, it's it's gonna be a little bit older. It's it's. It's not like one or two. It's gonna be it's like from four Indiana. or five, probably. I, I think well, like six, six and Indiana maybe six. Rye whiskey. Uh, we do have the black rye that we'll be trying uh, yeah. eventually with this. That's supposed to be even older than this. And older the store pick single barrel. And rye. store pick. Yeah. So we're gonna do a whole bunch of Stellum. We got all. We got every Stellum ever made. If you so. haven't under, if you haven't gotten it by now, we're huge Stellum fans. Yes, yes we, we like Stellum. So, Oh, yeah, but, Smell uh, Wigan High West Stella. <laughs> Those are the big <laughs> three right now. Buffalo Trace. Them's the bourbon ears. Yeah. Bourbons. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get this guy open though. While he opens that, make sure you subscribe to our channel. It's, as Mitch always says, it costs you nothing. It's, it's free. It's free. All and you got to do is just click the button. Yeah, all you do is you click. click That's it. it. And it just lets you know when we post a new video every Wednesday. And yep. it'll go to the top of your feed. You can click on it, give it's us a review. Easy. We're also on Instagram, at 3 Bourbon Ears. Also doesn't cost you money. Also a like this video. and a like. Like this and a video. Subscribe. Comment, please. Let us know what you think. <laughs> do we some, look stupid? For the love of God, this guy has a child. Help some brothers out. I don't want to do my day job. <laughs> I like whiskey. I want to drink whiskey. <laughs> I just want to drink. Just drink all day. Is, Is that so wrong? wrong? <laughs> all right. All right. Pause record. Okay. okay. Shh. That's the refrigerator. <laughs> it's not the cork. <laughs> Ooh, oh, that's good. That, was, that was a nice little little cork. That was Thanks like a, for for being real. That was like a five out of ten. The Pikesville Pikesville maybe was like an eight or nine, but it could be cork. I'm already seeing some oily. Okay, we're drinking today here, folks. Pikesville turned me on. This Pikesville's good stuff. Pikesville right. made my <laughs> pucker. I think this will make the <laughs> this will make the front end pucker. If you catch my drift, we're gonna have to cut that out. <laughs> Can't be talking about your. <laughs> what about? <laughs> oh, appropriate. Everyone's got one. All right. Anyways, oh, very baking spice forward. Very, very baking spice. A lot of a lot of fruits. I was gonna say I'm getting a little more subtle than the pike oh. Everything from plums to raspberries. I'm getting dark to me, fruit. Light to fruit. me, this is so fruity. It is. It is a wave of fruit. It is. Pear. I'm not getting much citrus. Do you feel like it's it was more, as it's potent more. as Pikesville though. I think it's a little more subtle. Like it's no, to me this is more potent. Really, hundred percent. Yeah, to me, to me it's got more flavor. We might have to bring Pikesville. Yeah, no, we'll we'll kind of we'll pour one in oh. here and a good old fashioned showdown. A good old yeah, we're gonna have a showdown this video. So very good nose, boy. I like it. A lot of pear. I get I get so much pear there's... in like peaches and and maybe apple even on there. I think there's a lot more hot spot sound weird. to this hot spot <laughs> to this to this nose. Like it has. Okay. It, it carries some agree, weight. It's, it's not like it's. It's not like it's. I don't want to say stronger, but it's just like easier. It's a little, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, like yeah. boom. Yeah, it's there. A little a little more that you gotta kind of sniff. Yeah. To me, All right. to me, the nose is just. It's a danky nose. I'm getting some like. This is gonna sound weird. I'm getting some like cantaloupe on it. Ooh. Some like some like uh, some melon. Musk melon. I'm totally down with the musk melon. Musk melon pear cantaloupe like that light fruit. I, what is this? 115 proof. I'm, I'm shoving my nose in there, and it's not burning. My spot on. Yeah. Not All right. Of, not a lot of astringent. You can only nose for so long. I need to try this. Cheers, cheers, folks. Ooh. 
Ooh. Holy Santa Claus. What did I tell wow. you? Wow. What did I tell you? That is... I'm looking at Chris off camera and tearing up. All right. All right. <laughs> that is still... This, this whiskey, this rye will bring it to you. This is better than the Pikes Bill. That... <laughs> this is yeah. still... It, I can still taste it. It's, it's still completely... Long. It's... It's finish. still finishing long I'm in my so mouth. Messy. And yes, right, I meant Let's it just go way. work for Stella. Let's just review Stella stuff. Every time I have their stuff, it is my favorite. It's so good. Dude, these guys on their bare bones entry level, Chris has turned the faucet on in the background. <laughs> on their you bare bones them, entry <laughs> level, <laughs> he comes in and grabs it. He doesn't give a shit. Stella right. does not mess not with him. What? No, they're okay, good. What's so, going on here? So, let's let's break this down. We gotta talk about. I this. need a drink more. So on the nose, you guys were thinking that maybe it wasn't as yeah as potent as the Pikesville, but on the on, I mean, it's. To I'm me, gonna need a direct compare them. I'm gonna pour one right now. I need a direct compare them because they're both really good. I think this is more. Oh my gosh. This is more classic rye. I think this is more classic rye. This is more bourbon rye, right? This is more oh, sweet man. rye. This is more spice rye. I agree with that. That is I, definitely spicier. More I think that this this seems it. more rye to me. Yes, I agree. More I agree. rye, more grassy notes, more cinnamon, black pepper. I'm getting black pepper on this heavily. Yeah, it's uh, the finish is long. Oh yeah, it sits around for a while. So here's. I feel like there's an error. Look at my. I feel like it was because I wiped it out that it wasn't showing me the legs, but look at that now. That it's got some oily problems. Yeah, that correlates right. with that finish. We did this in our last video. We're gonna do some direct comparisons here. Showed up. And, and we're gonna showdown, do showdown. a what are we calling them? Uh, rye showdown. Showdown. A rye showdown. A rye showdown. Okay. okay, I'm gonna Ooh. sniff them. I'm gonna <laughs> sniff them and then. Yeah, literally what we said. Chris, what do you think? Follows Mr. Rye Kevin, scent. Man. Literal rye scent. Chris isn't a rye guy. Oh, more of a bourbon. This smells more like vanilla and sweet, and this smells more like the baking spice. Okay, I'm gonna, I'll try them both. Know. Doesn't it make you wish that you bought a few more of these? If this is this good, what, what does this? It almost reminds me of midwinter, man. In a what way. does this and this taste like? That's what I'm That's trying to figure out. That's a more aged This is older. I this know. is a single barrel. Wow. This might be my favorite rye in the game right now. Pikesville oh. for a second was, and then and this just this wow. just showed up on the block, and we have these two. Yeah, that's... I'm like... Yeah. Both are very good, but in completely different ways. Wait till you try them back and to that's back. That's okay too, right? They don't I have think, to be like... I think I, like I think I like Stellan more. But the Stellan, it's so rich. Yeah, it's... it's this is more classic so, rye. So this let's, is... Let's, let's get some tasting now. Yep. I don't think yeah. we've done that yet. I think no. we're just geeking out about we it. We are. Threw a couple out, but... Yeah, you threw a couple out, but so like, what are you guys getting on the palate? Like for real. Uh, so palate, I got cinnamon. Way more cinnamon and black pepper in this. Yeah. A little like, call me crazy, a hint of like a faint cayenne almost mm -hmm. on this. Maybe. Yeah. I also pulled that in the nose. We pulled that little bit of fruit, and I'm not tasting any of that light fruit coming through on the actual palate. I'm getting a lot more pepper on that. Sure. I think the cayenne pepper is right on point. I think there's an aspect of cayenne pepper, a little black pepper. Um, I think really, really rich. It's like a dark fruit, like almost like a blackberry, like mushed up or something like that. Like that's what, it, like I crunched up a blackberry and grilled it. And I always talk about that, like grilled fruit. Do you feel like, like prune or like, like a charred black fruit right. of some kind? Like a blackberry jam on the grill oh. or something. What I really like Pikesville about it is way more vanilla. This, yeah. this is definitely lighter and sweeter. Mm -hmm. This is a little more hot pepper. This tingles cinnamon. your tongue. Like I, like we had talked about that earlier. Prickles your tongue. This really, when you drink it, it coats your tongue and it's almost like tangy. Like almost like a salty, you know, like a, there's so much flavor right away. Like this, you gotta kind of maybe get past that initial burn. I feel like this has burn, a bit of a burn up front with a little sweet. Burn and it's sweet. Like this is a sweeter burn with a long. It's like picture hot honey. That's oh, what yeah. this is like. It's basically like a 
this is basically a bourbon. When you compare these side by side, this is like a... You can tell in the color, too. A bourbon. This looks way more bourbon-y than... This is more classic rye. Stellum rye mm. is... Should we jump into it? Yeah. I mean... What do you think? Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, you like Stellum. Try, buy, or deny. Drop All it. Right. Do we even have this? <laughs> all right, I'm with me first. Can we, just, can we just go all three? Pick me, pick me. Let's just go all three. All right, three, two, one. Buy. buy. Never buy. No, <laughs> buy, buy them. Buy how them. much is this? How much was this? Was it like 60 bucks? No, no this was like 46. Oh my God, buy it every day if it's $40. Somewhere around there. I mean, I would keep two of these. If it's $40, uh, yeah, that's amazing. I mean, we just said it beats this. This is 60, 50, 60 bucks. So keep two of these bad boys on hand. Stock them up. Yep. This is right up. You can't go wrong alley. with Stellum. Seriously, we've had what well, we've had Stellum, the rye and we've had Stellum the bourbon. Stellum is slowly pulling into my favorite. Both are fantastic whiskey. Let me try this guy. Oh my! Stellum we've got black. the bourbon black, the rye black. Yep. We have the single barrel bourbon. We have the single barrel store rye. Pick. We have the regular rye, the regular bourbon. Total Wine Arizona store pick right here. I cannot wait to try both of these and see yes. where they stack up to this. We're going to have to do them all yep. and see which one's best. Um, boy, this is a big price jump, though. Yep. Yes, it is. Hundred From 40 to this goes, it's like this, is a or this is a $50 price jump. Yep. So it better be worth it. It better be fi- It's not cheap either. It better be yeah. double the... This is like, what, $10? $10 more than yeah, this? Yeah, it's like 10 or 15 Which is... I think that's perfect. That's perfect for a single barrel. Yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll find out. But, man, yeah. Buy, buy two of them, stock one. Moral stock of the story, one. we love Stella. Yes. Yeah. So, Damn. let us know your thoughts. We're fanboys. Man. Like, you like comment, home. subscribe. Uh, let us know if you want us to try something. We're doing a new video every Wednesday. Just subscribe. Help um, us out. Yeah, seriously, we'd appreciate any comments or any advice you have if you want us to try something. But thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next week in the next uh, Bourbon News video. See you later. Bourbon News out.